Oh, hey, what's up? I didn't see you there. I haven't shot a video in like... Feels like a month. Yeah. So this kind of feels... It feels a little strange. I'm not gonna lie. I feel a little bit... Uncomfortable. At least Sidak's there, so... You know, he's keeping me cool. Um, today's video is uh, kind of different. I'm gonna be talking about game development. Something I don't really know how to do. I've been trying to make games for like 10 years and uh, it's, 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 uh, it's, it's difficult. It's, it's difficult. So uh, I'm gonna show you what I got so far, okay? A couple months ago, I met this dude named Seth. You saw him in another video. Yeah, that dude, and uh, he drew me some, uh, or he, he came up with uh, this idea for like, um, I forgot what it's called, um, yeah, one, one dive head into madness, it's like a animation idea, he drew some characters, this is some of them, uh, Grim, King Midas, Elliot, he's the main character, Elliot, uh, he has a friend named Yeti, they go on adventures, mm -hmm. Jester, kinda looks like the Joker, uh, Angel, she's like a robot thing, Claudia, Roxy. It's kind of in inspired by like pop culture, adventure time and stuff like that. So um, he gave me these images, he didn't color them in. He should have colored them in, right? Because now I'm like trying to think, I'm like, how do I, what am I supposed to do with this? this is black and white. I don't know what they're wearing, he, but he just told me, hey man, hey man, just uh, use your imagination and just uh, color them how, how you will, how, however you want, okay? I'm just like, uh, I man, whatever. Um, so here we have a model of Mr. Elliot, the main character. He's, he's, I try to keep it as low poly as possible. I like low poly models, man. I like it. And uh, I put some texture on here. As you can see, the texture, texture is actually pretty cool. I just took images I found on Google Images, just slapped it on the model. But I'm trying to go for like that PlayStation One type thing where the model is like broken up into separate pieces. I should actually be working on my other game, which is a Game Boy Studio game, uh, which is this over here. Um, yeah, I'll finish it. I've been saying this for months, and it's it's almost done. I've been I've been saying that for a long time, but it's almost done. It it it's almost it's it's oh, whatever, man, whatever. Which game engine am I using? I'm using Godot or Godot. Why am I not using Unity? Um, because uh, I like the Godot logo, it looks like a robot. <laughs> and also, uh, the download file for Godot is only like 30 megabytes, man. So, yeah, I like small files, man. Small files are the best. Like, games nowadays are like, you download a AAA game and it's like 70 gigs. Give me a Game Boy game, that's like 3 megabytes. Okay, so now we're in Godot or Godot. Whatever. So these are the characters I modeled and textured. They all stand in there. Look at look how happy he looks. He's so happy. I also put in um, these other creatures for no reason. It's just something I modeled in the past, so I put them in here as well. Just because I needed to fill up some space. So uh, if I push F5, the game should run. Ah! Okay, so here we are in Gatao. The main character's in. You can push. Oh wait, I can use my controller. Hey man, come here. I hooked it up to work with the controller so you can move the guy around and he can walk. Doobie -doo -boop -doo. The right analog doesn't work. That would be cool if it could turn the camera, but uh, the tutorial I followed for uh, this is, uh, where is this dude? Jan... Jayanam, whatever. Uh, Jayanam do something yeah this one i followed this guy's tutorials on how to make the character move and the camera so that's why it moves the way it does so you can move and you can walk and you can bump into these guys hey what's up man Bam. you can knock into them you can uh you can push this this monkey off the edge if you don't like monkeys yeah you can you can push him on bye bye mr monkey oh you want some of this too mr big monkey yeah, he. So you can make like a Royal Rumble game, and you can push people over the edge. Um, so that's that's something. Uh, you see the tiger in the background. I added some particles to him. Also, when you get close, if you listen closely, you can hear some fire. And then what this pink guy in the background? If you get close to him, music starts playing. Not anymore.
There's a big dragon in the background, there's an elephant, a big turtle. But uh, if I walk over to the angel character, you'll see... Hello. You see that? She, she said hello and an exclamation mark popped out of her head. And if you walk away... Goodbye. She says goodbye. So you can like... Hello. And if you push A, while you're close to up, it opens up a dialogue box, man, and says, uh, Good afternoon, Elliot the Human Boy. I am Unit K553-J7, but you can call me Angel. My programming language is GD Script. Yeah, so uh, while, while the thing is paused, you can't move the character around. Uh, the particles are still moving for some reason. Uh, I don't know what's going on there. And then if you push A again, it closes the script, and uh, you can continue walking. So, uh, to do that, I follow this guy's tutorial. Uh, what's his name? Emilio. Yeah. Emilio, the game guy. So I followed the pausing your gaming the dough tutorial, and then also RPG or visual novel dialogue box for Godot. So, yeah. Okay, so what do I still want to do with this project? So, I want to be able to talk to all of these NPC characters the same way I can talk to uh, Angel. Like, I want, I want like, a dialogue box for all of them. Like that. And then also, when I get close to them, they must, I want them to turn and face the player. I don't know how to do that at the moment. I gotta figure that out. Goodbye. And then also, I want to model like a proper environment because this is just, it's just a ground plane. There's nothing, there's nothing really. So I'm actually waiting for Seth to like, give me like an environment to model, but I haven't seen that dude in like forever. So I don't know when he's gonna give me that. If he doesn't give me that, I'm just gonna create like some type of house or forest where these guys can be. Oh yeah, then I gotta animate them as well, the NPCs. I want them to get, I want them to have like some idle animation. And then when you talk to them, they must change their pose and be like, Hey man, how you doing? And then when you're done talking, they go back to doing their idle thing. Yeah, so, uh, that's been the devlog for, uh, One Dive Head Into Madness, my walk and talk Godot game. Thanks for watching, Anna. Maybe I'll see you next time. Maybe. Probably. I don't know, man. Woohoo! Ow! Ah.